This is Professor Melanie Hildebrandt. This video will be the first of a series of three videos um, that are going to relate to the material in Chapter 3 from the textbook. In the first video, I will illustrate what happens to our market equilibrium when we have a change in demand. Um, I will then look at an example where there's a change in supply. And then finally, in the third video, I will work through the more complex situation where we have what we call simultaneous shifts. Um, it's important when we're talking about supply and demand changing that you know all of the influential factors that can change demand um, in this case, and it's never the price changing. Okay, when price changes, that causes what we call a change in quantity demanded. And I know this was in the PowerPoint slides and the text, but I just want to, uh, again, make sure we realize the importance of understanding the difference. So a change in quantity demanded always is brought about by a change in the price uh, of the good uh, in the market that we're analyzing. Okay, when demand changes, shifting to the right to increase, shifting to the left to decrease, um, that's caused by some other factor uh, impacting the relationship between price and the quantity demanded um, of our good. So I'm going to draw out here our graph so that we can talk about it. So let's suppose this is our original demand and the original supply. Okay, and um, you know maybe this is the market for pencils. Very, very uh, exciting market to think about, right? And so this is our current equilibrium in the market for pencils. And maybe those pencils are three dollars for a pack, and we're selling ten thousand packs uh, per week. Okay. And then something is going to change, all right? It's going to impact uh, the market for pencils, and in this case, impact the demand of pencils. So maybe um, consumer income goes up. That's one of our influential factors. Or maybe it's something more complicated. So we could think about the relationship that pencils have with another good, pens. And so we would call pens and pencils substitute goods. So those are goods that are used in place of. And so when the price of pens changes, it actually impacts the demand for pencils. Okay, uh, so for example, perhaps the price of pens goes up. Well, then the law of demand tells us that consumers are gonna respond to that price increase um, by purchasing less pens. However, if we still need writing utensils, then instead of buying those more expensive pens, we're now going to buy more pencils. So this results in an increase in demand for our pencils. We're gonna show this on our graph by shifting our demand curve out like this to the new demand curve of D2. And notice what happens here when the demand of pencils changes and supply does not. We end up with a higher equilibrium price, um, perhaps $4, and a greater quantity bought and sold, um, perhaps 12,000 pencils per week. And so whenever there is an increase in demand and supply does not change, it will result in equilibrium price increasing and quantity increasing also. Now, on the other hand, if we had, let's say, a decrease in consumer income causing demand for pencils to this time decrease, okay, or shift toward the origin to the left to D3, well, this is our new point of equilibrium. Again, supply hasn't changed, and so we would see a drop in price and a drop in quantity um, bought and sold when we have that decrease in demand.